Welcome back to High Stakes, where me and my vegan girlfriend check out all the local places in and around Amsterdam. Today, a really special one. We're at De Bazaar. It's a 16 hectare indoor market, one of the biggest in Europe. It's got a combination of furniture, uh, food, um, weapons, all sorts of crazy stuff. Some of it you definitely won't get a receipt for, if you know what I'm saying. It fell off the back of the truck. Let's go check out what they've got to offer. Just come into the food court, it's quite big, very busy, very bustling, quite like a bazaar. Um, first dish is a lamb dish, uh, looks like it's some sort of slow cooked uh, lamb shank uh, to me. Looks very good. Um, the guy was a bit confused why I wasn't getting more vegetables. There's a big area where you can choose what vegetables you want, I just wanted salad. Uh, so he loaded it up with rice instead. Um, so that's where we are. Let's get into this lamb. I want to see, look at that. Wow. That is uh, crazy, crazy tender. I'm gonna try just the lamb itself, so I wanna, wanna get a taste of that lamb. Crazy tender lamb, very simply done. Um, there's not too much to it. I think it's maybe just a little bit of salt and pepper and a lot of oil. Uh, really, I like it, uh, but I wanna mix it with some of those vegetables, so give me, a, give me a minute to try that. I wanna get a bit of that cabbage, some of that raw sliced onion, that looks unreal. Definitely needs the freshness of those vegetables. It was a bit a bit plain on its own, uh, but those veggies really liven it up, give it a bit more flavor. Um, that rice, nice and hot, uh, and those veggies crisp, fresh, really, really nice. Uh, it was 20 euros, which I wasn't expecting. Um, let's see what comes next. have very high expectations to find vegan jams here um, so but I couldn't wait anyway so I started with a Vietnamese spring roll I don't think I'll experience any surprises but let's give it a try and see how oily this thing is it's your classic Vietnamese uh, spring roll mostly uh, carrots um, glass noodles just so you know how a spring roll is fresh crispy I like it. It's a good start to me. So we were just walking along the main thoroughfare through the middle of the bazaar and we found what they called an Afghani burger. Uh, and as everyone knows, Afghanis are well known for their hot dogs and ham because that's what it looks like there is inside of this. Uh, I think I see egg cabbage a little bit of rocket and then the woman working there also said would you like spicy sauce i said a little bit uh and this looks like it's going to kill me uh and that looks like it's all wrapped with a little bit of i guess afghani flatbread so uh i'm going to give this a big bite see how we go uh so it's pretty cold uh could have done with maybe 45 more minutes in the oven uh, so the hot dog's cold. The ham, I don't know what the ham's doing. I mean, you got pork on pork. Um, the, the fries are cold, which is a bit disconcerting. Um, look, it's too early to judge. Let me go for another bite. A couple more bites in. I'm starting to get coriander now, which is also very unexpected. These Afghanis are just throwing whatever they want in this wrap. The, the wrap itself is crazy soft. Like, it's got a chewiness to it, almost like uh, dumpling dough. Um, would I make it at home? Probably not. Was it worth the five year I paid for it? Absolutely. in a new area that we have not been before. Um, this is called the Fresh Hall. Uh, so fresh veggies, fresh, fresh fruits, a lot of nuts, spices, herbs, and I'm just, I feel like I'm back in Morocco or whatever. It's amazing. Um, so here is my first dish of the day. It's a fresh homemade falafel. And first thing is 
really sending out to me is the brand that looks unreal as Tom would say. So um, let's have a let's have a bite. Mm. This is what I'm having next to my food. An authentic Turkish tea. Mm. This is my first bite. I love it. So I could not take a sauce with it because obviously they don't offer vegan sauces here. I did expect that, so that's fine. And I don't feel like I am missing a sauce at all. It's so fresh, so like so many textures going on. The fresh fried um, falafel, of course, but also the crunchy bread. One of the better ones I've had. So I quickly want to show you. There are a couple of green options and then my eye got uh, drawn to the lentil soup sorry i had to find out the menu quickly um but i had lentil soup in morocco and i just saw it served to another table and i was really hoping that it was similar to that one so we're gonna try that right now it's not similar to what i had and what i hoped for but it's still really nice yummy hearty Heartwarming lentil soup. <laughs> Dessert time. Uh, walk past this place. And was shocked at what I was seeing. There was a leaning, little mini leaning tower of pizza all over the place. Uh, you can hear the chi chipping away behind me of the uh, the ice cream scoops. The way they do it is super, super unusual. I've never seen it before. It's a big vat of cream, or I suppose milk, and then they shove it into the ice and they add salt to the ice to cool it down to lower the, the temperature so that they can churn it on the spot very labor intensive uh, ice cream making and i've never seen it before let's see what it's like when they're building it you get sort of three little uh base supporting layers and then you get the piece de resistance which is this uh this big erect shape on the top which he dips in the pistachios and then throws on top and then they drip i'm not sure what this is i think it might be a cream around the base so look i've been talking about it for long enough it's time to have a try wow so that breaks off quite uniquely mm. i can taste like an uh, an aniseed flavor um almost like fennel very unique uh, that cream down the the bottom i think it must be flavored uh, so it must be steeped or cooked with uh, herbs and spices that's why it's got that sort of that flavor without the color uh, and that ice cream it's a bit icy uh, just because of the nature of the way it's made um, it's super unique i want to try these pistachios and so give that with some of the cream mm. the pistachios make that overall really unique dish love it super cool that was a bizarre. Uh, I think if you go there for food, it's not very vegan friendly. Um, I'm just lucky that by chance falafel is often vegan, so that was good. Uh, lentil soup, mwah. Um, but overall, I think it's a super cool place to go to when it's a rainy day like today. Um, and as a cherry on the cake, there is a really, really nice uh, oriental supermarket there, which I really recommend you going to um, if you are like me, a vegan, because that shop is full of surprises um, so check out the frozen section and um, if we have missed something let us know in the comments see you next time bye